Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't know, wait, let's see. Did I, did I do challenges? Do I need to do challenges? I completed Suicide King and Cat Your Tongue. That was totally last time, I think. Let's random this one. Just because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Judas is actually just pointless right now. I'm going to re-random that one. I'm going to re-random that one. Which might kill my win streak, I don't really care. Maggie, see, that's more worthwhile. And here is the seed, in case you want to play along. And you could get different different stuff if you have different unlocks, don't worry. Uh, but, yeah, there it is. So Maggie, of course, slower, starts with uh, one more heart and the yum heart for one full red heart of recovery. Figured I may as well try. Nice. It's so weird though. I always I'm constantly switching between running this at 1920 by 1080 and running it at like 1024 by 768. Uh I do need to do the boss rush, so I don't have time to shoot all the poops and things. I gotta just get stuff done. So that's fine. Sack of pennies drops a coin for us every few rooms. So that's cool. Could be useful. Bomb, that gets me this chest, and since these are all here, I could get a quarter or something, or some money, or just spiders, that's okay too. But, hey, more bombs from the chest. Makes me feel like it was worthwhile. These dudes are scums. Like, actually, this room takes forever. Consistently forever. I know you're gonna charge out. I know you are. I feel like things are easier at 1920 by 1080, but I don't know. I really don't know. Alright, thank you for another coin. You know, this is probably the secret room. I haven't paid attention around it, but it's the first floor, so I feel like it's pretty unlikely that I don't end up with it. Reusable level skip. So I want to use that every time it's available because it's a chance, uh, about 1 in 10 that I get uh, a ladder trapdoor, just like from the bedroom or from randomly bombing rocks, and that can get me the black market, which is um, a special room that usually has two beggars, four shop items for sale for health, good stuff like that. Uh, that's what it usually has, four shop items and two beggars. Uh, it could also just get me one of those uh, special item rooms like I've seen from the bedroom. By the way, the hardest part about the haunt fight is honestly the little things. Not the haunt itself. The haunt's pretty easy. And also, the worst part about the haunt fight is that the haunt is just like the most weighted boss. That's what I don't like about it. Not that it's like a really difficult fight. Just that it's so heavily weighted, it's pretty sucky. And it's not a very interesting fight, and those the little ones suck. But other than that... It's not a huge deal. So let's see what our first boss item is. Tears and shot speed up. I'm okay with that. Uh, we... Alright, let's see. Top secret room is like 100% certainly not right there. So then that means it's most likely right here. Because top secret room is almost always close to the boss room. So I like to check the closest possible location. Two range ups, that's fine. And luck down, that's unfortunate. What can you do though? That is how it goes. Curse of the Lost. So I don't get to see my map. I don't have any bombs for that tinted rock. Or don't you worry, I would be all over that. Cool. Now just you and awesome a key with perfect timing to get to the uh, item room when I find it. I think that down might be the best direction this uh, time around. Down seems to have the most uh, success finding the boss room quickly and such. Rather than based left, it's based down, which is a little less fun. But that's acceptable. 
not like I can do anything about it. I didn't make the game. And it's good that it's different. Alright, so now I have the bomb to get that tinted rock. Was there a tinted rock in that room as well? Why would you look at that? Now I don't have to worry about getting myself wrecked. So, again, no ladder. They're not a very useful... Wow, this floor is, like, full of tinted rocks. So now I have a soul heart to protect my red hearts. It's useful. It is useful. For certain. The hermit is a shop teleport. And let's just... This, this room takes a while because they just keep getting knocked into the rocks consistently. Such is life, I suppose. Hey, a champion actually dropped something. Range down, I got two range up, so it's not a huge deal. An odd leaf, you don't say. Alright, so if I stand still, I become invincible. And that's all there is to it. Still no luck with the shovel. Kind of wish I still had Yumhard, it's probably more useful. But that's okay. Because it's not like I actually want to skip the floors, I just want to find the black market or free item, trinket, etc. room. I'm just not doing that. So many tinted rocks that I just don't have the bombs for. Man! Also, I would have gotten a charge for my use item if I hadn't taken the battery, so I could have gotten two uses out of it instead of just one. Mistakes, they, they happen. Dang. I was really hoping for better. Oh well, I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna donate the rest of what I got. I was really hoping for a bomb. Monstro it is. Need to handle the chasers, though. I think they're called chasers. I think we got that okay. I mean, it's still a potential issue. See, I almost got hit there. But it all works out in the end. And since we have a decent fire rate, Monstro shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, what do we have? What is our item? Health up. Okay, works for me. Missing page two, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. It doesn't really feel worthwhile to me. Let's get out of here then. I could have gone to the- there was a curse room, wasn't there? That's okay. Mistakes get made sometimes. I'm interested, I'll do it. Well, wasn't worth it. But I get another charge for this, and that's okay, in the end. Reason being that I actually get to, uh, once again attempt to find the black market. I like how every single time it seems like I've been shooting a different one. That's pretty silly. I think this is called a grub, by the way. I'm trying to learn stuff about the game. Get all that handled and what have you. Okay then. Works for me. Don't jump and I'm happy. It didn't jump so that's great. Right, this is no problem. Unless I take damage, then I guess it's a problem, but I didn't, so we're good. Sack of pennies is doing some amount of work. Like, I'm... I should have gotten hit there twice. All right, well, that time I did deserve it as well. I actually don't know how long I can dodge these for as Maggie. The low speed does not help. No, we're 
we're not doing that again. Higher chance for uh, card drops. That's pretty useful. That is an actually good trinket, I would say. Happy to find that. Bee lickers don't cheat anymore. It's a nice life. Still don't play chicken with them, though. That is still a bad plan. Alright. Awesome. I'd love to find a key in the very near future. So they don't shoot at me if I'm walking into the wall. Which is pretty useful strats. We're going to get to use our use item once again. Maybe this will be the time where I actually find the thing I'm looking for. Could be. Like, we could be that lucky. We could also not be, and I would say we're probably not going to be. What a surprise. God, that's just inconvenient. Can, can you dudes cooperate a little more? Thanks. This is a long floor. A very, very long floor. So remember, we passed up our deal with the devil, which means that we do have the opportunity to get an angel room. Uh, angel rooms still suck in this game. They're still for defensive play, and they're still not super strong. So we've got that to deal with. Oh, dang it. But hopefully we just don't even get one, and then it won't matter. That was really close. I didn't think I'd be able to dodge that one. I shot it once, so that's uh, two hits more to go. That was a really close one. Yo. All right, polycephalus done, health up, no speed up, no damage up, nothing like that. I'm really not too happy right now. This is not going well. This is an incredibly bad run. I wouldn't say incredibly bad. It's a bad run. Yeah, there's pretty much no way I'm avoiding damage for long on this room. With what I've got, this is just... This is just damage. I didn't have to take it there, though. And sadly, I have no anything to gain out of using my Nod Leaf. Thanks, dude, for giving me any keys. Hard mode's just butts. That's really what it is. I already went here. This is a sacrifice room. Yeah, I thought so. All right, let's see if we got anything else going on. Can go to that room. All right, well, that's all I got. I wanted to go there anyway, especially since I lost my soul heart. Maybe I'll get another one out of it. Well, that's to be expected. Key. Ah, oh, you didn't give me a key. Lovers, that's pretty useful, though. Hey, look, a soul heart. I'll leave with half a soul heart overall. Key. Infamy. Chance to block tears from any direction. That's pretty good. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. I can't get to that item room. It is a hopeless endeavor. So I'll just go to the nearest exit, which at least, hey, I got to spawn one. That's kind of nice, having exits just available to you. Pretty sure I didn't leave any rooms unexplored there, but there was nothing else I could do to get a key. And that happens a lot, thanks to hard mode. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, God, it's experimental treatment. Experimental treatment is bad. It gives you a total of one stat up, like one total spread out across your stats, and then shuffles all of your stats around. But honestly, I need to go for it, I guess. We're going for it. It's bad, but I need to. And then it turns everything in the future, every stat up, into a um, small all stats up instead of whatever stat it was going to be. 
So I ended up with decent damage, decent fire rate, and decent speed. And that actually is about as good as that could have turned out. But again, now all of my stats ups are weaker and spread out, so it sucks. I had to take it for now so that I had a chance at anything, but then it doesn't really pay off in the end, because I'm stuck with whatever I've got. So now I need to gamble to get keys, perhaps. Because that is what hard mode is about. More champions, no thank you. What do we have in here? All right, well, let's get gambling. Could just give me the keys, you know. All right, well, we can play this a bit more. You can't double play these, but you can double play demon beggars. Interesting, but true. See, I don't want to take the time to gamble because I want to get to the boss rush. Thank you. Shoot that away because I can. Now this is good news. Get to double play these because of that. And then this uh, prepares me for the beggar. Pretty awesome actually. I'm happy with how that turned out. Miter. More soul heart chance as opposed to regular. Heart drops. Honestly, I'm interested in these coins. These coins is good. And I can't afford to shop right now, so that's also a good thing. See, and that's the thing. Hard mode, you need to gamble more. I don't like gambling. It's better in this game. Both from a benefit standpoint and from a time commitment and pain standpoint, it's better in every way, but I'd still like not like to have to do it. Oh, now I can just use this. I don't need to pay away to get money, although I kind of should. I'm doing it. Resistance is just a shield for a bit. Invincibility. But I wasn't particularly interested in it, is what I was saying. At least uh, stat ups that are multipliers, like Magic Mushroom, should probably still be just that. Multipliers. So I can still gain good benefits out of those. I just can't gain the right stat ups as I would like them. I don't know why I used that here. I've already gotten the thing on this floor. I think there's only one. I guess I don't know that though, so maybe, uh, maybe that isn't how it works. Ah, oh, I was really planning on that killing all of them. That was gonna be a really awesome bomb. When it worked out for me. Okay. That took some, some work. I really wanted that to kill other dudes. I've been places. Oh no. Well. That's good. I like when things go as I intend them to with bombs. Because bombs are a pretty important resource, honestly. Alright, give me something other than a health up for this boss, please. Well, that's not quite what I meant. I need to, uh, I need to go to the arcade again. What's my time at? 17 minutes. I'm not getting the boss rush. There's no way. So I may as well just take my time anyway. Just... See? That's all I was going for. That's, a. Um... Maybe not a speed up anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's a speed up. It still feels... I feel faster. Doesn't mean I am, I guess, but I feel faster. It's definitely a health up and a good bit of recovery, probably the same amount. 
I don't have any keys. Or I would be very interested in that. I can definitely pay off this beggar. Which is most of what's important. I'm gonna go do the large room. You know, it seems like a decent plan. Hey buddy. Come hang out with me. Well, I got one thing. Health down, that's not really important to me, because I've gotten plenty of health ups. I think this is a possible location, but I don't know. Oh well. This room's probably making it impossible. No, it could have been there. I don't feel that bad then. Then I'm betting it's here. Key. Let's bomb all three of these. That, that was pretty worth it. Telepills to the room I was going to visit next anyway. I'm going to go back for the judgment card, of course, because that's going to be pretty important to have. I'm going to save the use of my use item for the next floor, of course, because I'm not going to be silly this time. I got it charged again, so it didn't matter, but... I'm going to save it this time. As that is probably the smartest course of action. You don't understand how close to just pressing space I was anyway. As though I learned nothing from what I just said to myself. Man, these things take a lot of shots. Okay. No curse room or anything. That's acceptable. I have two keys, though, so let's take one to the shop. We're about to hit 20. I wouldn't have been able to make it. Greed! Why do you do this to me? By the way, I haven't yet gotten anything other than a regular money beggar from a judgment card. Which is, like, that seems strange to me. That probably just means that they were made to only give regular beggars, but... It could also just be that I'm incredibly unlucky or lucky, depending on how you look at it. I'm opening it. Flight and an eternal heart. So that's a health up as we get it to the next floor. And I got flight. I can't complain too much, I guess, then. Mm, can't mess with that. Not a thing. I'm not getting my Devil Ranger room here, almost certainly. But this is the first floor where it would be guaranteed if I had... If I don't get hit. So basically, it sucks. Because I have no bombs. You know what? You're getting used now. Hey look, it's a regular beggar. What a surprise. You're giving me a bomb, and one of these skulls is giving me a black heart. Don't try and deny it. You denied it. How could you? You monster. I wish that had blown up more. Ooh, that almost hit me. That would have sucked. Well, I'm just relying on infamy. That chance to block tears from any direction, and then I just got hit by the silliest thing. Well, I guess I can visit the curse room then. Since I'm flying, it doesn't cost me to go in. And I would get two soul hearts. Ah, <sighs> perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now, watch as I just don't get my devil or angel room. And this run suffers even more from the fact that missing page two isn't good, so... I get screwed. Doesn't matter if there's a tinted rock in there since I have no bombs, but... You know, worth checking. So I know for later. Like, this room has not one. The tower. Bombs about the room. I'm gonna use that in that other room with the chest, actually. The bomb chest. I think that would be good. I wish the Vomit Grimace could, like, attack these dudes. 
Because it seems that it doesn't damage them anymore, like it did before. I'm just setting those in places where they're gonna get me stuck. Darn. Like, where I'm just gonna accidentally run into it as I'm traversing the level. And it's gonna be stupid. And it's gonna be my own fault, of course. But what can I do besides be not stupid? Nothing. And that's why I uh, haven't done it. Thanks for all the useful drops, game. I really love this. You have no idea how great this feels. Thank you for spawning more flies than I can possibly kill in a reasonable amount of time. Making it very, very easy to kill you. Oh, I thought it would take five still. My bad. Okay, we did it. I totally shouldn't have been able to dodge that. Guess it all works out in the end. Yeah, there was no hope of this run making boss rush with how bad it was. Oh well, maybe we can beat the chest. Since we're certainly not in any shape to handle the dark room. Another tower card? How strange. Alright, let's just try and lock him in there and get everything handled. Well, you could also spike yourself, and I wouldn't mind. Too bad I didn't get any useful items with Nod Leaf. Alright, fight the boss now. Mask of Infamy. Mask of Infamy isn't really that bad. But I should be able to work with this. Oh yeah, the champion Mask of Infamy. Don't forget the champion part. Did you not chase me so hard? I like not feeling that important to you. How are you not dead yet? That was more than half of the health. Well, that hit for nothing. Because it didn't hit, of course. Which is just the unfortunate reality of things. The easiest way to handle his boss is shoot from the sides. I really would like to still earn this Devil or Angel room. That would be really nice. I'm probably going to have a 36% chance. And it should be a Devil room. Hopefully, since I have a black heart. Okay, not speed up and a tarot card or playing card, of course. Joker, funny. <laughs> of course, it's practice. Honestly, I'd like lump of coal more. Would I though? Probably not really. I don't really care what I get. That's the moral of the story. But this once again does not. Uh, Prevent me from getting angel rooms in the future, which, well, doesn't help me too much. We got Lump of Coal. Though damage up as my tears travel. Good. Can I get a key? Pretty please. Sweet. Game really doesn't want to see me succeed this run. 
This is about to be my second item room that I've had to skip. Which is really, really annoying. Alright, well, messed up that one. Wow, I seriously walked into that. There's another one. Wow, I am doing really badly. This is pathetic. I should never get in this room. Okay, there are no more. Good. More soul heart chance? I don't really need that. I probably deserve to get hit there. Could you just not wreck me, please? You've given me a bad enough run. I would just like to get at least one more item room. Uh, cool game. Gotta love it. Can't open this because it needs a key. There's a coin there. That doesn't help me at all. God, that's so unfortunate. Hard mode just doesn't like me right now. I'm using this regardless. I need this. Damage up by one, point two speed up. Just like before. Okay, good. Thanks for even more money that I really don't need for anything. Because it's not like I get to go to shops. Oh my goodness gracious. We're going to the curse room. I've already been to the devil room. That was silly damage. And what do we have in here? Guppy's paw? That's fantastic. I'm taking that with me. Because that's the only way I'm going to survive. Hey, we get a black market. Gnarly. Uh, I'll take... Well, first I'll play this a bunch of times. You can double play him, of course. I really don't need more money, so that's why I'm not bothering. Give me an item, you fool. Fish head will get me some flies, though. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. Plus two keys. Ladder's useless. Take the nine vault. Take this too, because this can I can gamble for stuff for now. Oh my gosh. I don't know what mom's key does for sure, but it might make all keys double key drops, which would be pretty good. I'm just gonna gamble all my money away until I hopefully get decent amounts of stuff. I would love to be able to like play this key beggar seriously, but I probably won't get to do that. But I can spend a lot of money on this, so that's good at least. Alright. What are you? That sucks. Not a huge deal, but it does suck. I'm not even losing money, really. I'm essentially going even here consistently. Piggy bank's not really worth my health, because it just causes me to drop money on uh, it. Swallowed Penny does the same. pass on that one. Could accidentally hit Q. It's possible. That would be unfortunate, I guess. Doesn't really matter if that's here. Does not affect me or my life. I 
And so as I need to, I can use Guppy's paw to get health. Could be great. Nice. All right, let's get out of here now. Yeah, I think I have what I want. I'm gonna drop the pill, take the trinket. And I could skip the floor, but that would not really help me very much. I'm not gonna do that. Obviously no reason to go in there since I have spent 100% of my money. Which was somewhat silly and really somewhat not. I don't have need for money right now. Shop could have been good. Could have donated some. Probably would have been decent to do. But I like how few resources I came out of that with. That's nice. Also nice. Mom's eye. Pretty terrible item most of the time. Chance to fire out of the back of my head as well as the front. Uh, remember, I have a luck down, so probably not going to get too much of that done. Now you want to give me keys. And I don't think Mom's eye is actually a tears up. I think it's just that the tears up is that you can fire out of your other eye. Or your back eye. Now I'm going to go to the shop since I can definitely afford something and probably donate the rest. That would be pretty good. That might not be the shop, actually. It's pretty close to the spawn. I wouldn't be surprised for it to be a library. What'd I tell you? Well, that doesn't affect me, since this is uh, Depths 2. Doesn't get me a horseman. It might guarantee the Devil Room now. I don't need it for that on this floor. I wouldn't mind having it on the next floor. For that. But I also think I'm going to be better off with this. Do something good. I'm not afraid of going down half a heart at all. Oh, yeah. Now you give me temperance. Thanks. The sun was kind of what I was hoping for. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pull through here again so that I can line up with him perfectly so that I can double play consistently. Thank you for the cards. Pulse Worm's actually not a bad choice right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. It makes it so that uh, my tears increase and decrease in size as they travel, and uh, that increases their damage and such as well. Not bad overall. Alright, I'll do it again. Empress isn't bad either. I'll take the Pulse Worm. I can use it. Can you give me an item? Speed and shot speed up. Okay. It's an item. I did ask for that. Blue map's gonna tell me where the boss is pretty consistently because it tells you where the top secret room is. If you head towards the top secret room, you're most likely headed towards the boss. So that's pretty good. I'm going to optimize this floor at this point. Nothing else to do. Blue map shows the secret and top secret rooms. By the way, that's all it shows. But I'm okay with this. Super greed? Alright, well that's why the shop was clear, I guess. Thank you, Infamy. You're a real bro. More to donate. Alright, this dude tracking his green stuff. Luck 
down. I will pass. Money. We also have an arcade. Boss challenge room's not happening in this lifetime. Remember, we don't double play this. We also can't get ourselves in such a position as to infinitely play it using uh, the Nod Leaf, sadly. You'd think that's not fine with me, but that's totally fine with me. Oh man, lucky rock. Yeah, I'll do it. Hello. That's not the center. Why did you spawn there? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, this should go nicely. It seems like we're hitting at a pretty good spot. Oh darn, I didn't move soon enough. Alright, well, I missed that kill. I want to make sure to get that. Gonna get more money. And I'm really not worried about health at all. Why should I be? I have the paw, which will do most of my work. Sadly, I haven't found any other guppy pieces. Because that would be really, really nice. If I could become guppy, that would save this run a lot of the hassle I'm going through right now. This is gonna be a long one to get everything done that I need to get done, which is even finishing the run at all. It's going to take a while. But I think that's all we need to accomplish here now. Could gamble more, but I don't need to gamble more. Alright, fine with me. Bad trip becomes full health, but I'd rather have the Empress for the damage and speed up. That's pretty useful. You know what? Screw the rules. I'm taking the left hand so that I can hopefully become Guppy. That was a beautiful dodge. I don't like how long you're sometimes stuck waiting for the stomps. Like, that's pretty annoying. Especially when it alternates between stomp, I, stomp, I. And then you're just waiting and waiting. So you see how much Pulse Worm was helping my damage, right? It was helping a lot. This is definitely a Polaroid run. Like, this is a horrible run. But I definitely need to take it to the cathedral. So I'm hoping not to earn the devil room so that I have a little bit better chance of earning it next floor. Oops, that was silly. We're almost there. There we go. And I didn't earn it, so we're actually in good shape to earn it next floor, hopefully. Oh my god. Well, doesn't matter anymore. Because now it's just a trapdoor. Too shoal. Thanks, game. I love you. You're such a nice game. So I did recently unlock this small rock. That's good. Uh, I'm just thinking about things that are there to be thought about. So I don't have to blow up Tinted Rocks f for just that. Uh, but of course I want to blow up Tinted Rocks anyway, so it's not a huge important thing either way. So I'm headed towards the top secret room. Hopefully this is the right way, because I can skip all those large rooms. I would like more chest drops, so that I can maybe get Guppy. And since I don't need to worry about my health, I'm definitely going to visit this uh, first room. Black Candle, Immunity to Curses. Will that turn this into not an XL floor somehow? Because that would be really stupid. 
but not getting curses from here on out. I mean, it's nice. Problem being that uh, I still got it this floor and I still am screwed because of it. That was unavoidable damage, it just popped out under me. Nothing to do about that. Something that should hopefully be fixed in the next patch. And uh, lumps can also do that, the enemies in this room that are still alive. Okay. May as well use one there. Probably a tinted rock in here somewhere. For my useful use, I suppose. But actually, there's not. That's weird. That room went smoothly. But like that, and we're right next to the top secret room. Next room, so hopefully the boss is also right there. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, I'm surprised that it's not. If he gives me a health up, I'm not taking it. Don't want a health up. Cool. I can't even avoid it. But now I don't have Polaroid invincibility. And if I attempt to eat one of my hearts with uh, the paw, it won't take one of the unfilled... Or it won't, it'll take one of the unfilled ones, not one of the filled ones. So I want to thank that dude for being a big fat jerk. Oh well. I guess that's life. Probably a tinted rock in here too. I'll have to look for it. I'm not seeing one. Doesn't mean it's not there though. The blue map has betrayed me. I guess the the rules may not apply on a, an XL floor. It's possible. Or that rule in particular, I mean mostly. Hello? Door credits useless. This is probably a library. Right, I have the nine volts, so I always have one tick of charge left over. Seriously, it's nowhere near over here. That is actually absurd. Legitimately ridiculous. Doesn't fit there either. Okay. Seriously, it was that close to spawn? Apparently it's possible for the bosses to be split up though. They're not. So yeah, I just got destroyed by some terrible luck there. Alright, I don't have to care about that attack. But that attack is pretty often unavoidable, which is nice. Because you really don't have the time to react to where the spikes are in order to dodge it. So you just have to hope. And they can spawn there on top of you if you're standing still as well, which was my first guess. You can do it if you're moving. Doesn't matter. So this is actually, in my opinion, the hardest phase of this fight. Dealing with the eyes. Other than the potentially unavoidable damage towards the end. If you get the wrong patterns. Darn. Figured I may as well use that once. It's not gonna hurt. Keeps my health maxed. Oh, that was... Unfortunate. Oh, 
Alright, I like this positioning and patterning. Okay, that one was dodgeable, that's good. I unlocked the cute baby. And this devil room is just a trapdoor, because awesome game. Decided that it was my time to get wrecked. We have our Polaroid, let's go up. Still being destroyed. Well, up was wrong. Base left it is. Could be down. Could be anywhere. Oh, hello. Alright, so left. Sweet. Based down, what am I telling you? I'm bombing out of here. Not wasting my time having such bad damage fighting things like that. Got these resources, I'm gonna use them. See, this is a good room. I like this room. I have enough keys to go to the chest, so I need to remember to drop my trinket. Don't worry, I'm on top of things. But I want to hold on to it for as long as possible in the meantime. So that I don't miss out on any uh, guppy action. Would be nice, you know? I don't need money because I don't have money equals power, so that's fine too. Are you not going to give me an item? Is that how this is going to go? Compass. Okay. Points me to the icon rooms. That's good. Brother Bobby. I don't think it's worth fighting for. Wait, what is that? Dice room. That could be huge. Wow. That was sweet movement on your part, dude. Dice room, though. That's exciting. I'll have just enough keys for it. I do want to fight this mini-boss, I think. Ultra Pride will give me the same trinket I already have. That's not needed. And maybe I'll get a good drop or something. No. No, that's fine. Alright, this boss isn't too bad unless it RNG hits me, which isn't my fault, so it's not too bad. And I have the paw for exactly this reason, just in case I get wrecked by something. Cool. Definitely, wow. It's as if the three Gertie Jr. room wasn't enough. They decided, how about four? Like, <laughs> stupid. That's what this room is, this is stupid. It's not in any semblance of the word a reasonable room. I don't think it's doable without taking damage unless you're insanely overpowered. Pandora's box. Ooh, I get an angel room item for this this floor. I was recently figured out how it works. Sadly, I got the habit, which isn't too much of one I care about. You get nothing on the chest, though, so... Could have been Sacred Heart or something. Would have been worthwhile. I don't have the uh, Pandora's box memorized yet, by the way, so I can't tell you, like, oh, every floor, here's what it does. I know uh, Utero 2, it's two boss items, which is pretty good. Depths 2, it's like 20 coins. Uh, it's got some useful effects. Oh, I should visit the secret room here. I should have done that with this item instead. Well, that's unfortunate now, isn't it? I'm visiting this dice room, and I'm gonna... It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> Alright. This fight should be fine, since I'm real fast. Habit's useless with a no-room charge item, by the way. 
three, and chemical peel. You know, I'm okay with that. Three rerolls all the pickups on the floor. It's a D20 over the entire floor. That's pretty cool. All right, go away, Bob's Rotten Head. I'm going to run about and see if there's anything interesting here. Pill and a key? All right. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. All right. I'm happy. Almost time to ditch my trinket. I think we have this entire room to fight just this famine. Isn't that awesome? I think that's really awesome. Okay. I'll do it now. It's not like I had Polaroid invincibility, so... Oh, this is gonna suck. But this is a room we all know and... Whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't say love, but we know and whatever. I'm gonna kill the Greeds first. Uh, if I can. Just try not to hit the fistula. At all. That was unfortunate. So Chemical Peel is a uh, damage up. Two damage up every other tier. From the left side of my face, every tier. But every other tier in practice. And now we have the Isaac fight. I guess I'm gonna... save the Empress card, because I don't think Isaac is, um... too much of a threat. Like, maybe, but I don't think it's too bad. Like, everything seems pretty okay. I love how you spawn them immediately after I kill them. It's great. Infamy's doing work, though. Alright, so the top corner opposite to the corner that you, uh, that the attack started in is always safe. And of course, since I have Nod Leaf, I could also use that if I'm far enough away, and it would work just fine. But this is the easy way. It's consistent. I'm fine with it. I don't have to learn anything different based on the run for something like this. Nah, I couldn't do it in time, since I failed to react that time. I'm plenty fast enough, so I should never mess up. That was just a pure, personal failure. Alright, to the chest. We accomplished something. We get our four items. Oh my god, I forgot. I knew not to forget. I just forgot anyway. Well, we didn't get guppy. That's for sure. This room's kind of bad, but not that bad. It's not the double adversary, so it's it's okay-ish. Like, it's not a huge great thing, but it's not the worst thing, like double adversary or double cage. Oh, dang it. All right, well, that's about to be done. I'm not gonna get chests, it's really unlikely. Oh, I didn't even check the map. Silly me. Can't bomb out of the room either. At least this is an easy room. Man, I need to not autopilot something so hard. Alright, that was a good shot. Loki can also uh, RNG hit you with no control of your own. That's fun. We should be fine. So right looks good, but it's probably, as I've been saying, down anyway. I like this room. I wish they still stomped on each other and killed themselves. That was the great life. 
I loved this room before, now I just like this room. That's okay, though. I don't need to. Ah, I knew I had to do the large room. Oh well. Such is life. Okay. Hey, buddy. Just trying to focus fire on one, and then everything's okay. As you can see, this room's not that bad. Which I think I said right away. Don't worry, I got this. And since I've got plenty more health, thanks to carrying around this paw, there is that going on. Triple peep. That's a little bit unfortunate. It's gonna be really hard to focus fire on one so that I don't have six eyes bouncing about. But I'm gonna do my best. I also can't, um, I'm not gonna have the easiest time. Okay, good. I'm not gonna have the easiest time dealing with all the jumps. Depending on screen presence. But this room's okay. Like, I don't think this is a bad room, fairness-wise. I think it's just tricky, and I think that's good. I like it. Thanks for the useless reward. Now this is a bad room. Fairness-wise, and in general. There's really just no way to properly do this room besides be overpowered. Don't be not overpowered. That's how you do this room. So, I don't know how this is in the game. Because it's actually just... not fair. Sucks. Whatever. Oh, we need to use this again. Oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. We're almost done. Sick. Could have optimized that a little better and had Polaroid invincibility sooner, but it's okay. I wouldn't mind getting a bucket of lard. That would help out pretty good. Especially since I would uh, have Polaroid invincibility without having to uh, trade my health away immediately to the paw. That would be awesome. Awesome! Double cage in a Large room is fine, most likely. Most likely. Not guaranteed. It can still totally wreck me, I'm sure. As I lose track of one and not the other. And that attack. That attack can just decide, hey, I'm going to turn around. Not around around, but it, it just turns. Like, I went for the dodge that looked safe and it decided to take the other path. Because screw me, obviously. That's a pretty tricky one to dodge. I wouldn't have been surprised if that one decided to hit me. But I think it's much better in this size room than it would be in the small room like it can show up. Really? <laughs> oh my god, the game is just like, hey, sucks to be you, buddy. Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I'm not going to the top secret room either. There's pretty much nothing it can offer me. But this here is why I like the uh, chest better than the dark room. You can win it on almost any run, just because the rooms are a lot more fair. I'm gonna say that a lot of times, I'm sure. Because this run's garbage, but I'm making it work. Okay, that's not bad. Bloat. Bloat's fine, especially with flight. Oh, 
That was close. Good bloat. Do me a favor. Well, you didn't do me the favor that I wanted you to do. I didn't even need the four items from the start. Okay, I kind of thought that one would hit me. Dang, that one did. Chances are I'm not going to use bombs on Blue Baby, so I may as well use them here. That seems like a much smarter plan. And even then, I only needed one, because I just wanted to clear one of them. Alright, excellent. Empress for the damage and speed up. Useful. Blue baby, mostly a good fight. I might not be able to avoid the teleport attack on this particular run, because I'm larger than normal. Uh, but I might not be large enough that that does matter. Then again, I may be. I don't know. We can hope that I'm not large enough to be unavoidable. I should be able to win, though. Uh, this is perfect, technically. Thank you, Infamy. You're a nice guy. Let's back off here. Alright, that one didn't teleport too close to me, that's good. So we'll never know if that one was going to be unavoidable to me. Well, no, we know it wasn't, because I didn't get hit. Alright, congrats on not teleporting too much, Blue Baby. I love it. Alright, told you that should be winnable. We have done it. That is a Maggie win to the chest on a really bad run that took me forever, but we did make it, which is what counts. So we get the Celtic Cross. And, uh, yeah, see, I told you it would reset our win streak since I didn't need to play Judas there. So, somehow that worked out. Through great magics. You know, alright. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a struggle, but we made it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.